my name is Nicholas Montez and you're watching my YouTube channel, Nicholas Montez. Welcome back to another YouTube channel today, everybody. I'm so excited to have y'all back here together again. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about um, another diary of the, my first movie in my series, Journey to Diary of Kid 2021. Except this is actually, I believe, the third or second film. And we're reviewing Diary of Wimpy Kid, Dog Days. Um, this was a movie that I was very excited for because when I, I, I don't know, I, I felt excited for it. And when I watched it, I kind of liked it a little bit. So, and I left some thoughts on it. So let's get started talking about it. So the first thing that you gotta talk about with this film is that it really is a film about teenagers. Now, obviously, it's not really based off of teenagers in school, but it really kind of shows you what the life of a teenager wanting to meet a wanting to get with a girl and all of this. What would that be like? And to me, it's a cool little concept of how of how they did that. Another thing that I really liked is that they kind of added some actors from the Jesse show. Like they literally added um, Peyton List and the guy that, who played uh, Emma on Jesse. And then they also brought in the kid that played Ravi on Je and Jesse. So they kind of brought in a couple of young actors that I thought pretty did play a good teenage roles. And then of course, our uh, our teenager cast with these two best friends. They're of course funny. And even though I don't remember the, which film it is, that that meme is like, don't come to my house. Don't come to my house. Don't talk to me. We're done. Something like that. I don't know exactly where that meme is from, but I know it's from Diary of Movie Kid and. Yeah, so it has the teenager charm. It has a pretty good cast. And I, and I also like some of the other adult characters. I so, like some of the adult characters where they're just over the top and absolutely hilarious. And overall, it was just a very funny movie, very charismatic and just overall very funny. And I also really like the animation bits with the book-like stuff. With that said, let's move on to the bad now. For me, this was kind of a frustrating film because on one hand, I think that the way that they did this movie was pretty cool. They didn't do anything, they didn't do an excellent job with the film, but they did a nice enough job to do it. The problem here is that I just feel like there was a lot of plot lines going on and that it just, it didn't focus well too much on the main plot line that we're focusing on, which is the summer plot line. And they tried to, you know, get, the, like, the dad, while I did like him, here's the problem with him. He's just too, he's just too hyperactive, and that he's just, he's, like, trying to get with his son. The The son is trying to get with this girl and doesn't want to do anything fun. He just wants to stay in and play video games all summer. And the dad is just trying to connect with him. And even though it does have some, some, some heartfelt moments with him and the dad, it just does not make for a plot line that I was thought was interesting. Beyond that, the, as the movie is called Dog Days, the movie doesn't focus much on the dog of them getting a dog plot line. It, it's a small plot line though, but it is at least in the movie. But even though, it, even though it's a small part, I still don't like it because it's just, it's just terrible. I, I did not like that plot line. Not, not, I didn't hate it, but it was just weird in the way they made it. Where they literally named it Dog Days, and they don't even have it throughout the entire movie. And that was just kind of disappointing with me, for me. Um, and then when the movie literally ends, it literally ends with, with the girl that Peyton List's friend literally getting her birthday to remember, and then that's how the movie ends. Like, it's just so weird. But... Overall, I think I did enjoy this movie. I'm not going to say it's my favorite movie of the year. It's definitely the most relatable film of the year. But 
yeah, that's really my thoughts on this film. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, no, no, actually not thank you guys so much for watching. Before I give you my final scores, be sure to turn down below. What were your thoughts on Die Everyone Be Kid Dog Days? Did you guys love it? Did you guys hate it? We're right in between. Let me know all your thoughts down below in the comment section. With that said, let's get all my scores. Alright, so that's it for my scores. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My Instagram is Marvel6 and my TikTok name is Marvel1 Fan. If guys don't understand those names, head to my bad section to call me on all social medias. I'm also in Letterbox. It's the same name as on Instagram. Marvel underscore 6 underscore. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.